the minor service of a Volkswagen Up, as well as most other cars, primarily consists of an oil change as well as diagnostics checks. I've been servicing my own Volkswagen Up for the last eight or so years, so I'm going to show you how today. This method is going to be pretty much exactly transferable to the Volkswagen Up sister cars, such as the Seat, um, the Seat Me, Skoda City Go, and there might be some others with this same one litre engine. The bare minimum you're going to need, 19 millimetre socket or spanner, something to catch the oil in, some oil and a new oil filter. Ideally you're also going to need a torque wrench set to 30 newton meters for the sump plug. The oil filter on this can be extremely tight so I'm going to use these um, oil filter pliers. I've never used these before but previously I've had a lot of trouble getting the filter off just with my hands. I've ended up twisting my wrist and having to use some more um, uh, unofficial methods to uh, take it off so I'm going to use those today. It's also handy to have some rags, degreaser and latex gloves on hand and it's also ideal to have a cup of tea ready. It's quite hard to find an exact um, recommendation from Volkswagen on what oil to use but I've done some fairly extensive research and my view is to do it correctly you need to have um, some 5W30 oil. You can possibly change that based on your climate, I'm not sure and it needs to be approved to the Volkswagen specifications which are, if you can read them, VW50400 and from what I can tell these are the correct specifications and most of the big brands of oil will sell those too. Uh, Mobile One is my favourite, um, feel free to use some others. If you want to do it cheaper using semi-synthetic, no branded oil, you'll save yourself some money. It's still going to have a positive effect I'm sure by putting fresh cheap oil in rather than um, leaving old cheap oil in there. Whether or not it'll make a difference to the engine, I really don't know, so um, on your head be it. I have noticed in the last 15,000 miles, and my car's done 75,000 miles now, it started to use a little bit of oil, not a huge amount, but it never used to use a drop of it between service intervals. So clearly there's some wear going on, um, and possibly had I have used cheap oil or not done it as frequently, that oil usage might be a lot higher and we might have seen greater wear on the engine. Um, so yeah, use some decent oil, do it frequently, and that will keep your engine in good shape. Some people change the sump plug washer as well. There's like a copper crush washer on there. I'll give that an inspection. I don't think I'll end up doing it, but I do have a spare if required. Somewhere up here. Yeah. Just one of those, so it's a M14 bolt I'll be taking off. Um, that one's quite a thick one, but uh, same size as my motorbike. But yeah, it's an M14 washer, so if you want to put a new one on it, or it looks damaged, do that. So the steps are jack it up, remove the sump plug, let the oil drain, replace sump plug, replace oil filter, fill it up with oil and then let it settle and then check the level. If you warm up the car a little bit first, let's say you I know, drive it in the morning, leave it for an hour or so and then let it drain. Um, watch your fingers so you don't burn yourself but that will let things drain a little bit quicker. Don't be tempted to go under the vehicle just on a jack. Make sure you buy some axle stands because uh, things can fall off jacks or they can just give way and then you'll be squished. Sump plug, oil filters. See why wore gloves. I've changed my mind on the sump plug washer, as um, you can see, it's actually ridged a little bit where it's been tightened. So I'll um, put a new one in.
yeah, not main tool type, just uh, mess it up. If you dispose of the old oil in um, old oil containers like me, make sure you mark it so you don't accidentally store it and um, pour it into a new or pour it into a vehicle thinking it's new oil and um, dispose of it via the approved route. All you have to do is just fill it up with oil now. The book says it takes 3.4 litres of oil. Make sure you don't overfill it. Um, I'd throw in about 3, 3.2, something like that. And then just read the dipstick as you go um, and then just fill it up slowly. Do your final checks when you're on a flat surface. It's a lot easier to put a little bit more in than take any out. If you overfill it with oil it can be very bad for the engine so uh, go slowly uh, and don't trust the markers on the bottle. Thank <laughs> you.